This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey guys, Hayley here. So it's actually been uh, quite a while since I've filmed just a regular old uh, anime figure and merch haul video, but that is exactly what we're gonna do today. I am so excited. I have some figures that I'm very excited to open and show you guys. I've also got a lot of merch that came in this month. At this point, I'm kind of getting in a few of the August or September surface parcels that I shipped. Um, so a lot of this stuff I've been waiting two months to get my hands on. I'm so excited. Uh, let's get into it. So as usual, let's quickly start with some art that I picked up from independent artists. I did pick up a lot this month. First up, I picked up some prints and some pins from Art by Angie. Shipping for me can be a little steep with this artist, so when I do buy, I tend to buy quite a bit. I just love the aesthetic of their art, so I had to pick up a few of these amazing postcards and these super cute enamel pins as well. Next up from Brown Rabbit's Art, one of my favorite artists, I picked up these two super cute prints and a ton of acrylic charms. I love her charms. They just look so glittery and tasty. Like I want to eat them. They're like forbidden snacks. Next up we have two local Aussie artists. I love supporting local. I don't know what that was. <laughs> First up I got a ton of prints from the artist Nemuel. I have bought prints from their store twice now and I'm gearing up for a third time but I am super in love with the Jujutsu Kaisen and Chainsaw Man prints and then the Mad Lad came out with a collab Jujutsu Kaisen and Chainsaw Man set of prints so I picked them all up. I feel like this Novara and Power print has changed my life somehow, it's so good. <laughs> So the next Aussie artist is Lightning Strikes Art. Um, I did two orders here actually. The first one, I picked up these adorable charms and badges. And then I went back to their store and picked up this amazing Jujutsu Kaisen like animal themed wreath, as well as some prints and a bunch of these adorable little badges. The last thing I picked up is a little bit different. This is the first zine I actually picked up. This is a Jujutsu Kaisen zine called Reverie. Uh, there's a ton of different artists. It was all packaged beautifully. Uh, I think I got the edition that came with a bunch of postcards and keychains and extra stuff. And the actual zine itself is stunning. The quality is so beautiful. The art in it, everything is wonderful. I am so impressed. Next up, I have a bunch of anime merch items. They're all in this box. They're from two Surface Parcel orders, so they're all combined now. First up is something I don't get very often, uh, and that is a shirt. I picked up this super cute Yuru Camp shirt. I've been waiting for a Yuru Camp shirt design that I loved. And then I saw this one and I knew this was it. And I finally bought myself a Eurocamp shirt. There's a ton of Eurocamp shirts on Army Army, and I was waiting for like the perfect one. And it's this one. It has to be this one. When I saw this one, I was like, it's this one. And next up, we have some clear files. First up, I got this Rilakkuma like document holder, mainly because it's cute, not because I have documents to hold. I got a couple of clear files of Yotsuba and one of the rest of the quintuplets. I guess I was simping for Gilgamesh pretty hard in September. I got two Gilgamesh clear files. Lastly, I was obsessed with this maid line from Kuyasama, so I had to pick up Chika and Kaguya in their maid outfits. They recently came out with the cutest Halloween ones as well. And lastly, I got this. So I think this is like a shikishi board thing, but it also folds, I don't know, but it is very cute because it is of the entire Jujutsu Kaisen crew at a picnic. So I've shown these little propeller puppets before and they're kind of a ridiculous thing to collect, but I'm kind of obsessed with them. I think they're so cute, which is why I picked up this Lilith puppet from Evangelion. This is the cutest I've ever seen Lilith. Like that thing's ugh, but this is so cute and adorable. I love it. I'll incorporate this into my Asuka's shelf somehow. Speaking of puppets, I have two more. 
I got Hinata and Kagayama. So I'm currently watching Haiki through with Anambe and Gwen Collects. I'm having a really hard time deciding like who my favorite is, um, but I know I love these two. And so when I saw these puppets, I guess three months ago now, I was like, yep, sold. It's really cute though, cause you can put the little flag in their hands. Next up, I have some more cos for pinch wraps. I guess I was really thirsty for guys from Fate three months ago, but I have Gilgamesh, Arash, and Ozzy. Really happy to have these three actually. Next up, I got some acrylic stands. I've got this Yomu acrylic stand from Paint It Black. And then I have these amazing stands of Mikey and Dragon in these fabulous embroidered jackets. Love their outfits and colors in these. A good size too. Next I have a bunch of Relicuma merch. First up I have this keychain. I love how dainty this looks. Next I've got a Relicuma Pentel Energel pen. I've used this pen before, it's a good pen. Even better with Relicuma on it. I picked up this Relicuma grid notebook with this handy pencil case built into the back. Next I picked up one of those like bag holder things. I've always wanted to be the kind of person that uses one of these because I don't like putting my bag on the ground but I don't actually know when time comes whether I'll use it. Hopefully I will and it works. Bonus points that it's Rilakkuma themed. <laughs> Lastly I've got this tiny Rilakkuma plushie of sausage Rilakkuma ready to go into a bento box. I remember not being sure whether I should have got the sausage or like another food and I it was a really tough decision but I can't remember what it was so I'll show it and I mean now I'm pretty sure I made the right choice like real the sausage real akuma is very cute <laughs> on second thought I think it might be a squid but I'm pretty sure it's just like a sausage but like cut open at the end I'll feel like a right idiot if this is actually a squid a couple more Eurocamp items, this absolutely adorable Nadeshko keychain, and I was waiting to pick up a nice Eurocamp stainless steel like camping mug, and I finally went for this design, but it seems a little small. It is very cute and gives me camping vibes, but it's tiny. I feel like Tom Haverford from that one Parks and Rec photo. Small. But now, a quick word from today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to get you or your business visible on the internet. They give you all the tools you need, including everything from websites, marketing tools, analytics, and more at your disposal. Whether you want to make a website showing off your collection, a business, portfolio page, or just stuff about a hobby you like, Squarespace makes it possible. You don't need to be tech savvy at all to get awesome results you can share with your audience. They make it so simple to build a professional looking website and can handle all the other things that go into running an online platform. They handle all the hard stuff so you can just kick back, relax and endlessly browse army army like I do. You can also utilize their slick social media integrations and some excellent gallery tools that really lets your content shine. This arrangement of my figure photography looks amazing and I didn't have to configure it at all. It just looked like this out of the box. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com slash daijoububu to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Next, I've got a few art books I pre-ordered. First up, I've got this Horomiya art book. I was expecting this to be like bigger, but actually it's kind of cute the size that it is and it's so thick. The art in it is amazingly colored and it is so cute. I mean, they're, they're too cute, I can't. Next up, I have the flat Psycho art book. This is so deluxe. It has the art book and then like another little interview book. And the art book's just amazing. I mean, Misaki's art is phenomenal. I have a figure of this. So cute. The next art book is near art, as opposed to far art. Um, <laughs> No, but this has art from a bunch of the Nier games. Nier Automata, Nier Reincarnation, Nier Replicant, as well as some art from the stage and a bunch of the other orchestra soundtrack art things. All of the art in here is amazing. Nier has very aesthetic character design, landscape design, world design. It's like 
it's just amazing and it's so lovely to flip through it yeah really nice all right with all of that let's move on to our first figure so this is a figure that i originally didn't pre-order but then she came out and i decided i wanted her and that is the saber alter rider one seventh by alter figure <laughs> now i originally held off on buying her because i had another salter from amakuni pre-ordered but then when she came out and i watched a few unboxing videos of her i was like damn alter knocked this one out of the park and i saw that an australian store still had her up for pre-order because we get our stock like two months after everyone else and i like talked myself into getting her i thought it's not two figures of the same character if they're different ascensions, right? But let's get this nice transparent box open. Wow, this is a very clean and crisp figure. So Saber Alta actually comes with two torso pieces, one with her hoodie and one without. And just like she's kind of doing, uh, Alta is cleaning up with this figure. Like it is just clean. It's so crisp and even though, you know, her torso comes apart, you don't see any seam lines. It all fits together very cleanly. I think I've said this recently about another figure, but although it's not the most elaborate or exciting figure, it's just good. The sculpt is good, the colors are good, the details are on point, and I think they were really smart with the pose. It's still like really dynamic and interesting to look at. And I also really like the base. It's this blue gradient. It's kind of like frosted on the bottom. It's just nice. I knew this figure was gonna be good because I saw other people show it and I, um, I'm very happy to have her now myself. She's just a super like aesthetic figure. I mean, she's an angry maid with a pistol in a bikini. Just a little bit of price analysis time. She retailed for 14,800 yen, and now she tends to sell for about 16 to 17,000 yen on uh, Yahoo Japan auctions. So she's still fairly close to retail price if you're looking to snag her yourself. I would highly recommend. Next up is an Android that I've been waiting for for actually ages, <laughs> and that is the Snow Miku 2021 Glowing Snow version. So for me, Snow Mikus historically have had about a 50-50 hit rate. Uh, there's about half that are like above the line and that I've bought. And then the other half of the designs, I gave them a miss. Uh, but this one was a solid above the line. Let's get her open. I'm not sure what this business is here though. So this is the 12th Miku design. I love how classic it is. It looks like she's ready to go caroling. She comes with a standard expression, a smiling expression, and a very cute shocked expression. As usual, she's got her little rabbit friend who is also wearing a beret, and Miku herself comes with the cutest clocked themed beret. I love the clock theme throughout this snow Miku. She also comes with a cute little book, so I guess she is going caroling, um, and a adorable set of wings. I am very happy with this Miku. I don't think she beats out the marching band one as my favorite snow Miku, um, but maybe second or third place. I did have to wait a long, long, long time from her. I bought her from the Good Smile online store and they charged me and said they were gonna ship it. And then I think from then it was about a three month wait for her to actually get shipped. So I'm very thankful to finally have her uh, in time for Christmas. Next up, I wanted to show off something that's not anime related, but still very exciting. Um, it is this new keyboard and this fabulous set of Egyptian themed keycaps. Banggood was kind enough to send me these keycaps to check out, and I think that they are phenomenal. And I also think that Egyptian theme is like very on trend right now for some unknown reason. 
I love the gold on black print of these keycaps and I love all of the little Egyptian hieroglyphic designs on all of the buttons. It's so unique and just really elevates this board. I also have this Koi Resin Space Bar by Jelly Keys that goes really well with the rest of the board. The board itself is an Icky 68 Aurora and I currently have a boba switches in there which means this keyboard is too loud for me to bring the work, so I have to leave it at home. <laughs> Thanks again to Banggood. I'll pop a link in the description below if you want to grab yourself a set as well. All right, last up we have another figure that I'm very excited for, a very highly anticipated figure that I've been waiting on, and that is the lovely Chio unnameable bunny version 1-6 scale figure by Max Factory. I am so excited for this figure for two reasons. First, I love Max Factory. I think that they make some banger figures. The quality is always amazing and so I'm really expecting great things here. And secondly, I love Chio. I'm a big fan of Pochi Sensei and her art um, and I love Chio's design and putting Chio in a bunny suit so this figure was a match made in heaven. Beautiful design, awesome manufacturer. Let's get it open. I just saw the ring of her tail as I pulled her out and it's massive. One of the toughest blister packs to open. Max Factory wanted to make this difficult for us. A nice fluffy base for our queen. I've got her out and she is perfect. Like perfection. Um, Max Factory's got this new figure technology where the hair is actually, it's not brittle, it's kind of rubbery uh, and has a lot of stretch to it. So I think that really helps her hair flow down her back and on the ground realistically. This figure of Chio is perfect. I love the sculpt of this figure, especially her thighs, her bunny suit, and that big tail. It's just all amazing. I also love the coloring of this figure. A, I like the color scheme, the pinks and the purple, and I love the coloring on her tights. It's so shiny and glimmery and it just beautiful. She's got some nice shading on her bunny suit as well. They also absolutely nailed her face. Pochi has super iconic faces and eyes and that has been translated beautifully onto this figure. Yeah, I am head over heels in love with this figure. It is everything I hoped it would be and more. I, I just, I love her so much. I originally thought I'd kind of make a joke about how Max Factory should break into the freeing headquarters and steal the real tights technology, but I prefer her like this. I love that the tights of this shiny purple metallic finish. It just goes so well with the rest of the figure. Oh, she's beautiful. <laughs> I also just noticed that they've actually sculpted her like upper eyelid out just to help really have her in Pochi's distinct style of that really bold upper eyelid or the eyelash. The other thing about her is that she is big. Uh, I know she's a 1 6 and this is like a real 1 6 like bordering on 1 5th because if you compare her with this Kyoko 1 4th bunny they're kind of the same height like I know this one's bigger but like she's big. <laughs> so she was a bit pricey. She was 16,800 yen retail, but I think she's worth like every yen, every penny. So looking at aftermarket prices of Chio, surprisingly, she's gone down in price. She goes for about 14,000 yen on Yahoo Japan auctions, which I think is a steal. Like I think if you think you'll like this figure, just get it. Jump on these low aftermarket prices while everyone's sleeping on this good figure and uh, I, th I, think sh I think she's gonna go back up. <laughs> I'm just in denial. All right, that is everything that I wanted to show you guys uh, that I picked up this month. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
and I will catch you in the next one. See ya! Bye bye!